Hello everyone, so today we are preparing for my mom's operation and today we are gonna also get swab tests and I'm kind of scared about that but uh, oof, okay oof. but uh, we're gonna be going to get my mom's operation preparation like right before she goes inside get her room, get everything set up ready and if you're not aware, my mom has seven myomas or many myomas located in her uterus and it's been like this since 2015 but up to now this is when it actually strike where it's already expanding too much that it's making her gain weight as well as make her high blood pressure go up way too high than it's supposed to so that's why we're getting her operated on and let's go with a video we went to Ace Hospital first where my mom had to do a checkup with her doctor and then we went to Silliman Medical Center for her second doctor is that would be doing the operation. It was protocol that all patients had to get swab tests before they were admitted, so me and my mom ended up getting swab tests. But I wasn't getting admitted. I didn't post anything about it, but I got food poisoning actually a few days ago before my mom was going to be admitted. Where I was constantly vomiting and felt sick, where I had to get checked up for three days straight every morning and got blood tested in my arm. In the next days, I would be going to my doctor because she's only available in the morning, so that's the only time I could get to see her. But in short, I am all good, guys. I'm all fine. It's just I had food poisoning from a raw fish that I ate a few days earlier during that time. When we broke it all down, we can see on what foods. I ate different from everyone else and that was the one thing and the fish was raw or it was gooey-ish kind of fish so I didn't know but uh, I'm all good now so time to see our reactions getting swab test how are you feeling <laughs> <laughs> we just saw a lady come out and her she had so watery eyes after her eyes was so red and she I, I don't want to experience it again. Because she had in both nose, she said. Not in mouth, just both nose. And I have a very sensitive nose, so that's the problem. I can easily get a nosebleed if she goes too far up. So. And then she'll go twice in my mouth. <laughs> Is it both? Uh, we're gonna try on just one. Uh, please uh, look up. Look up. Look up. It's only my left eye there. <laughs> they do both if they didn't get anything in the one. But I'm like, finally, thank you. Because I'm like, I want to leave here. No, I, I don't like this feeling. This experience is not nice for me. I don't want to get swapped again. <laughs> So Bryce, killing me. <laughs> but um, it is a morning that is. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but it's somewhat good because it is happening soon. But uh, my mom is going to be admitted to the hospital today. It's not like anything like she fainted or anything. No, it's not like that extreme. I mean, like she has an operation on Tuesday it's because she has a myoma. Seven myomas in her stomach different sizes what happens when you drink too much alcohol 
as well as other like salty foods too much which made her high blood pressure go up and she needed to get down in order to get vaccinated and she needed to get vaccinated in order to be operated on so right now she's in Silman oh, going downstairs and then we're going to Silman and then my cousin Valmark is the one who will watch her and then maybe I'll take turns within the week if they allow it but I got a swab test you guys I got a swab test and mad at her on our way to the hospital so let's go How are you feeling now, Mom? <laughs> I'm excited. What do you mean you're excited? To be away from me and Dad? Dad, did you hear that? It's a weight loss program. I'm on a vacation weight loss program. Then over here is the swab area where our, me and my mom got swapped. Like, there's like these boots in the middle. And we were in there. So like, no one can really see the front of you when you're getting your nose like up against. But, um, hmm. I remember the old days when I used to do band work here. If you remember that, I'll put a card right up here of one of those moments. Interviewed after like how many minutes? How many minutes? Look at her little, her little tray. Then she's going to be on a diet meal because she can't eat 12 hours before her operation. Not really. But look at your meal, mom. Wow, you want to eat? That's called diet meal. Diet meal. That's the smallest meal I ever see. See, I got noodles here. Yeah, that's chicken soup. <laughs> Look at her, mom. her little and her little gown. Right now, not in a private room yet. We are currently in a what's this called, mom? What's this called? The dorm thing? A ward, like where there's other patients too. We're just here until they finish cleaning the room that my mom's gonna do because she has she's getting a private room. And she brought so many bags and inside the majority of stuff that I'm pretty sure that they already have but what we have in there is mostly things but her clothes are so very few she only brought like three pants and then like a couple blouses but did she bring any like lady accessory? no did she bring shorts? no So now we are in my mom's room, like the whole hospital room. It's more like a hotel room in here, like, look at this, like, a nice bed, and then the watcher has like a nice long bed, and then air con, it's super cold in here. And then there's a TV, look at that, hi, <laughs> then there's a dresser here, look at what my mom bought, she brought like how many cups? And how many plates, spoons, and forks? Like, and then she brought a boiler. <laughs> then there's also a little fridge in here. She has her little slippers as well as her shampoo conditioners. And then there's a bunch of chips. That's not for her. It's for the watcher. And here's the bathroom, but I can't show you yet because she is in there. So, take a look at the view. What does she see? She sees. Oh, oh, so this is where, this is an, like going to the labs, like right below us is the ultrasound lab, I think this is, oh, what kind of door sound is that, but my mom would, wouldn't be able to reach it up, but in here is her clothes and towels, that she has her purse, in here I put all the bags. In here there's this is not ours, I don't know, but I just saw this water here. Oh then there's a smaller drawer. Oh it has little books also. And here's the patient coming now. Hello patient. 
I put in your bag. <laughs> Mom, look at your room. It's so it's like a hotel room. <laughs> yeah, it's more there's a phone. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, there's a oh, there's like a phone there too. This is really like a hotel room. Oh, there's a mirror too. Look, Mom. Yeah. I didn't notice that. But we finished arranging everything, and now I can show the bathroom. Look at this, like look how big this bathroom is. Has its own wash station, towel station, toiletries, toilet, shower. The only thing is like they didn't have like any like border, like the water's just gonna rush here inside. Oh there's a second towel holder. This is a hot towel holder holder mom. This one is used if you can't stand up. And then there is for the IV thing. Hmm. But this bathroom looks like a hotel bathroom, like look how big it is. Lunchtime. Mm. Uh, muffin. <laughs> I got my four seasons. I watch your pass. I just got this noodle instant and I got some beef tapa. Look at the view guys. Oh, there's a hospital. Later today. Look who's over there. Hi, patient. Patient is eating my dinner. <laughs> and... Why, you get dinner here at 6? And what time is it? <laughs> so I'm downstairs right now. I just got some wet wipes. I have the watcher stack so I can do that. So now I have to go back upstairs. Meet up with my mom and we're trying to find donors for her blood because her blood apparently is B plus and all our family members are mostly A or AB, I'm AB. Then other family members they're A so that's hard for us to find a donor so that's why I keep not vlogging because I'm too busy trying to find a donor right now. And we're just going through all the family members and friends if any of them are AB. Like, I mean, B+. <laughs> My mom is about to get more blood taken out of her. Look at the set over there. Nah, good luck, mom. I'm panicking. <laughs> it's not that painful. Let me just... Oh, try this one off. This one. One. <laughs> one. I have two. And then tomorrow, I got three, maybe. Hey, when I was admitted, I had each finger pricked. Now, mom is eating dinner. Look at mom. Look at her little diet meal. Did you check my food? What are you eating, mom? I got cucumber salad, cucumber salad, chicken, rice, and vegetables. And a little muffin that she ate already. Dad ate it. Uh, Dad ate the muffin? <laughs> Vegetables. Mm, something that she hasn't eaten in years. <laughs> I eat it every day. She's lying. Look at the lady who's still up, and she's supposed to rest. Hey, you're you're getting operated on, and look at you just roaming around. Mhm. Mm that tomorrow, mom's not gonna be like this. She's gonna be all in bed, like yeah. with her stomach all out. <laughs> So my mom has to take this medicine, or it's not really like a medicine, it's like a pooping pill. <laughs> She'll take this at 8 o'clock, and right now it's 20 minutes to 8. So, this one is very tiny, the pill. My vitamins. There, there. <laughs> look how energetic this patient is. Then look how energetic mom is, and she's getting operated on tomorrow. She knows she's gonna lose weight. <laughs> yeah. I'm 
Lose weight. Lose weight. Look at that. Look at that angle, guys. Look. Look at that angle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the plan now is that I go home to go get my stuff. Then tomorrow after her operation, I'm staying here. I'll be here tomorrow morning to see the operation going on. But I have to be outside the door during the process. But uh, throughout the whole thing, tonight, Walmart is taking care of her. Then it's me and Walmart both tomorrow. Because it's hard to take care of someone, especially in operation. Especially when she's walking around like this. How much more tomorrow? Now it's 8.30. Someone's reading her yearly planner. Mm -hmm. Then there's Balmark, her watcher of tonight. And watcher tomorrow with me. You ready to take care of her, Balmark? What? You ready to take care of her? <laughs> what do you have to say, Mom? Yeah? What do you have to say before your surgery? Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Uh, happy <laughs> and scared, but pray for me, guys. I hope it's a success. I'm oh, pretty sure I she's can. afraid on the Asmi the Asmira uh, Asmisha on what Anastasia on Anastasia because they said that they're gonna be like injected into her back and then the other spinal. one then yes yeah, spinal and then the other one in your arm but then they'll put something in your mouth. That's the general anesthesia thing. Yeah, that one. Which one do you pick? The spinal. Okay. It's like the... It's like a... Like a needle that around. goes in your spine? Either way, both are very, very painful. So I know that she's not ready for that. So I'm off on my way home because I need to go get clothes. Because I didn't prepare any. So... <sighs> This is my dinner, lasagna. And then there's my mom. Don't sleep too late. Walmart is the one who stays up, not you. And don't keep walking around. Yeah. Operation day tomorrow. Say hi to everybody. Yes, I will. And there's a the curtain. <laughs> then the door is right here. So, I have to go to the van. It's gonna be pitch black, by the way. So. This is what it's like at night time, guys. Completely dark. Ooh. The ER is still open, but this part is closed. I'm never here this late. Going home now. <laughs> there's all. Then over there, there's a the hospital. I'm never like out this late here. Me either. This is my first time here, as well as my first time being like a watcher for once. Because when my mom was in the hospital before, it was when I was like 16 or 15. So I wasn't really allowed. Because the allowed age is 18 years old. And now I'm a watcher. And I can be like the watcher alone. I can be the one to do all this stuff. So it's like... Really makes me feel old <laughs> now. <laughs> You're a great daughter, too. Fantastic job. Yeah, it's, it's so dark. I don't think they can, you guys can't even see me. Only with the streets light, you guys can barely see me. But we're on our way home. Oh, now you guys can see me. We're on our way home now to get some good sleep. I'm gonna pack some, some clothes for mom and some clothes for me. And I think that's about it. The before and after her operation because of course there's no during because there's no filming of course during the operation but I will like let's see if we can get a little clip on like if you guys are grossed out by it I will give you a warning beforehand but in that time tomorrow I will give you guys a clip on what I my own what looks like inside we'll ask the doctor if we can see what it looks like what was it that was inside? Like we can see the actual pure, pure, 
pure like sea side of what it looks like but after that then yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video hit the like button for the safety of my mom tomorrow and comment below some nice words and uh subscribe to my youtube channel i'll be seeing you guys the next time so bye